thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I got this hairstyle. It's something that I do a lot with first day hair. I just think it wears really well and it's perfect for summertime. So if you guys want to see how I did this hairstyle, then just keep watching. So the first thing that I will do right out of the shower is put one of these things on my hair and I can't remember what it's called but I will put the name of it right here and then I just put this on my hair as long as I'm doing my makeup and just random stuff until I start my hair that way it will get as dry as possible without any heat on it and then I'm going to start putting in my products the first one is the Label M foam this is a volumizing foam and I'll just put this right at the root and then I'm going to put in my leave-in this is a keratin treatment by Chi, and then lastly I just put in this Thermal Creations by Tresemme. This is just a heat tamer to protect my hair against any heat damage. So this is obviously a spray, but I just like to put it on my hands, that way I'm not like spraying it all over the place. And then lastly just my heat tamer from Tresemme. I've been using this literally since I was in high school and I think it is a great heat tamer for the price. And then I just like to use a wide tooth comb and I start at the ends and brush upwards. I know a lot of people say never to comb your hair while it's wet but I just feel like I have to so I try and be pretty careful about it. Next I'm going to use my blow dryer and when I blow dry my hair I do like flip it around to make it a little more volumized but I always make sure that I have the hair dryer pointed down that way I won't have super frizzy hair because my hair is always frizzy after I blow dry it so I just try and help that out a little bit. Okay so my hair takes forever to dry, it's really annoying but it's very thin so it seems like it shouldn't take forever but it does. So once it's finally dry, I just like to lightly brush through my hair and just get out any tangles that I have left. And then once that's done, I'm just going to section right above the top of my ear and I'm just going to put all of this up. Typically, I like to work in three sections. And then I just like to straighten the top of my hair and the very bottom. Sometimes I get these weird like wave things in my hair and obviously it's like pretty frizzy still so that's why I like to do that. And the straightener that I use, it's called Solia, Solea, something like that. So as you can see, it stee. So as you can see, it's still pretty frizzy, but it's smooth at the top and it's smooth at the bottom. And so next I'm going to use my wand and let me plug it in. So this is the wand that I use. It's from Numi and I absolutely love this wand. I believe this is a one and a half inch wand. When I use this, I only put it in the center shaft of my hair for this look. So the top I leave out and the very bottom I leave out. And I do like to vary the size of the curl. So sometimes I use only a little bit of hair. Sometimes I put a lot of the hair in the curl. That way it isn't all exactly the same. And again, I'm just sectioning my hair off right above my ear for the first section. I still do three sections. When I use my wand. So I always like to start in the back of my hair and I'm going to take a section about this big and I just like to leave out the top and I like to leave out the bottom. Hold that for about 10 seconds or so. Actually probably like 7 seconds. And then I just like to hold the curl while it's hot just for a few seconds. That way it can set a little and it looks something like that. I'm going to do that all around my entire head. And now I'm taking a section that's a little larger and I don't really do like the same size sections on every part of my hat every time. I just sort of do like whatever as long as it isn't exactly the same every time. I always like to have the hair that I'm working on in front that way I don't miss a piece and just have like a random straight piece because that's the worst. <laughs> When I wrap my hair around the wand, I just sort of let it wrap how I'm holding it so there is a little bit of a twist in it, but I'm not like forcing it to twist anymore or smoothing it out flat or anything. I just let it kind of like fall how it falls when I'm holding it, if that even makes any sense at all. So I like to spray the entire section at the same time. I like to use the Elnet Satin Hairspray by L'Oreal. 
I love this hairspray because it isn't hard at all. Then for my last section, I'm just going to make sure that I have my part where I want it and I'm going to get that stuff out of the way. Also, I like to hold my hair in the direction it's going to fall, so on the back pieces I try and hold it back here instead of holding it forward, so it'll just fall way more like naturally looking. So I'm going to let this set for about 5 or 10 minutes and then I will come back and show you guys what I do for the last step. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and my hair has had a chance to set. So the first thing I like to do is just kind of run my fingers through it and shake it out. That way it starts to separate. And then I like to use flip it over and I just like to flip it over like it says and spray a small amount. With this hair product, a little goes a very long way so you don't want to use that much. And then I just shake it out at the root where I sprayed it. Same thing on the other side. And sometimes I just have it sit there for a few seconds just so it sets a little longer. And then I do one flipped forward. So as you can see, my hair is way fuller and it just looks a lot thicker so I really love to use this product but I can't stress enough to use just a small amount because if you spray a lot of this in your hair it's basically like a nightmare <laughs> like you have to be so careful with this so thank you guys so much for watching that's all for today's video if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't yet and I will see you guys again very soon bye